four year anniversary video and it starts now. Okay, good evening. Good evening because I'll probably post this video in the evening. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, please click on the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all the videos that are posted on this channel, everything that is new in amateur radio. So this is my four-year anniversary video. It was four years today on May 2nd of 2015 that I posted my very first video, which had the title of Ham Radio 2.0 on, on it. Now, those of you who've been watching for a while have heard this story already. I'm going to make it quick because I have a lot more subscribers today than I did on this day last year and this day two years ago. So basically what I did was I started a small business called Grapevine Amateur Radio several years ago. You can still go to that website today and buy a few things like this new Ham Radio 2.0 16-ounce beer glass with... Uh, my logo on it. It's dark blue. Hopefully that comes through in the video okay. But those will be posted up there by the time this video airs. Uh, I should have a case or two of these to take to Dayton with me, so come by the uh, Bridgecom booth. And uh, I think it's booth 1104, 1105. I believe that's correct. And um, I'll have these for sale. And all proceeds from these go to support the show, of course. But I put up Grapevine Amateur Radio, and I started selling the TYT TH9800, and a lot of people had the same question about how to program that radio um, from the front panel, how to turn on PL tones, how to do the offset and all this kind of stuff. So I made a video, and I posted it on this YouTube channel, and I copied the link, and I just would email the link to people when they had a question. Uh, let me send you a link to this video. Let me send you a link to this video, and it covered how to program everything from start to finish, and save it to memory and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, that was sometime in late 2014, August, I think, 2014, when I put that up. And I didn't, quite frankly, I didn't look at the video for two or three or four months. And around Christmas time, it was around the end of the year, I remember the weather was cold, um, I went back and looked at it, and that video had like six, 8,000 hits or something like that. And that's from no promotion at all. It was very ugly. I wrote cue cards and held them in front of the screen. <laughs> I recorded the whole thing on my phone. No microphone, no external, no, no proper lighting, nothing. So it got a lot of hits, so that got me to thinking, and I started doing research on other YouTube channels. And, of course, everybody knows about Ham Nation, AmateurLogic.tv. That's about the time I found uh, Ham Radio Now, which Gary Pierce, KN4AQ, was doing at the time. Uh, and I found a couple other shows, and I started, and I decided to start doing my own show. So I made preparations, and I posted my first video. You know, it took a few months, but I posted my first video on May second, which was a DMR presentation that uh, my friend Kent WA5YXS uh, gave at a local club here, and I helped him with it. Although he did most of the presentation, I was just kind of there answering questions. So that was the first video that I titled. I, I titled it Ham Radio. 2.0 episode 2 DMR presentation at the North Richmond Hills Club and then I went back and retitled my TH9800 video and then the rest is history. So every year on May 2nd I do a giveaway and I'm happy to say I'm doing that again this year. So what you need to do is go to my website uh, livefromthehamshack.tv or hamradio2.com it's the same website both URLs will take you to the same page and look for uh, this video, which is going to be episode 205, episode 205, four-year anniversary video. Open up the page for this video, and I'll put all the link stuff down here on the YouTube, in the YouTube channel. In fact, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I just thought of this. Um, go to, and I'm going to put the URL right here. Go to hamradio2.com forward slash four-year giveaway. And from that URL, it will take you to a sign-up page where you put in your email, your uh, name and your email address. And then you click on the next page, and it will take you to the blog post that you comment on. And 
uh, which which will be on my website. But that's how you register for the giveaway. That's uh, it. Like I said, it was a it's a new service I'm using through Gleam.io. It's um, they have paid services, but I'm using the free version right now. Um, so go to once again go to hamradio2.com forward slash four year giveaway. Register there. Patreon subscribers, those of you who subscribe to me on Patreon, you will get a second entry. You will automatically be entered one time since you're a Patreon subscriber. And then, if you follow the link below and uh, sign up again, you'll get a second entry. So Patreon users will get two entries. Everybody else gets one entry. And of course, everyone can become a Patreon subscriber. Go to patreon.com forward slash ham radio. You can sign up for $2 a month or greater. Um, two dollars a month is the minimum. If um, you know, if I had a thousand people giving me two dollars a month, you know, I could take this uh, series to the next level for sure. My goodness, but you know, the the two dollars is the minimum. You can sign up for two dollars a month. Um, there's a monthly membership that's uh, ninety nine dollars a year on GrapevineAmateurRadio.com, which is payable either as a one time fee on GrapevineAmateurRadio.com or it is. Uh, you can do it through Patreon for the one-year membership, which is $8.25 a month. So you pay it monthly instead of a, a one-time lump sum. Uh, I do, I'm do. i also going to start offering a discount for veterans, active military, and students uh, from, from $99 a year down to $69 a year. So all great things that will help me grow Great Von Amateur Radio. And um, the more I can grow it, the more giveaways I can do. I, get, I do this giveaway every year, but I want to do it more than once a year. I, I wouldn't mind doing a giveaway once a quarter. Maybe once I get big enough, maybe I can do a giveaway once a month. Some of my sponsors are going to do giveaways. I'm going to be doing a Bridgecom repeater giveaway upcoming. Watch for that. More information on that after Dayton. So, uh, so yeah, I mean... Help me grow the channel, and uh, I can give more stuff away, <laughs> as it were. I'm starting to use a new giveaway tracking service called Gleam.io. It's a free service, so I'm testing it out. We'll see how it works. So I have two winners this time, or I will have two winners this time. One will win a TYT MD UV380 radio, brand new in the box. The other will win a T uh, Redivus RT52 radio. Both are dual band DMR and DMR and analog HTs. Come, they'll come with programming cables, and you can download the programming software for free from various websites. Um, I also sell both of these on GrapevineAmateurRadio.com. These were uh, TYT put these on sale back in February before their New Year's holiday. So I grabbed a bunch of these. I still got these for sale. Uh, they're one nineteen ninety nine with a twenty dollar coupon which make, makes them $99.99, free shipping anywhere in the USA. The $20 coupon is HR20 for that radio. These radios, as far as I know, these Redivus RT52s, I'm the only one in the United States selling this radio. There are no other U.S. sellers selling this radio, or at least there weren't when I first got these from Redivus. Uh, they said, hey, we want you to be our U.S. dealer, and I'm like, well, I'm not really dealing much anymore, but okay, let's try it out. I'll try it out and see. So these are $138. They've got a few more features than the TYT does. They're $138 with a $20 coupon off of those, making those $118 free shipping in the USA. Free shipping in the USA. Uh, the coupon code for the Redivus is HR52 uh, for the Redivus RT52. So that are the two specials that I'm running for sale right now. All proceeds go to support Ham Radio 2.0, as I said earlier, with the uh, the glasses, the mug glasses, or the beer mug, pint glasses, and all the t-shirts I have up on there, and uh, these two radios. But I'll be giving one of each of these two radios away in the giveaway. Go to hamradio2.com, look for episode 205, read the instructions that are there. It'll have you click, it'll have you comment on that post and click on, on, the, on an entry link. It'll all be right there, and... Uh, Good luck on uh, to the winner. Good luck to all two winners. Two separate people will win. So I'll have winner number one, winner number two. And I'll decide which is which. I'll say this winner gets the TYT and this winner gets the Red of Us. So fun times. Hope to see a lot of you at Dayton. 
Again, I will be at the BridgeCom booth, uh, 17th, 18th, and 19th of May. This contest will go to the 23rd of May, which is two weeks past, um, no, three weeks. Three weeks. It'll go for three weeks after May 2nd. So it'll go start May 2nd, Thursday, May 2nd, and it'll end three weeks later on a Thursday, May 23rd. So during Dayton, this will be going on, and I'll probably have like a little sign or something telling everyone about it at my table there at BridgeCom. We're going to try to do a live stream from uh, Hamvention at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday the 18th. I think that's right. I think Saturday's the 18th. Um, but Saturday morning from... Dayton Hamvention, assuming I can get an internet connection that works properly, which I think I've I think I've got that I think I've got that taken care of already, so it shouldn't be a problem. But um, we will see. Yes, yeah, Saturday the 18th, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, which I think is 11 a.m. Dayton time, because I think uh, Dayton's in Eastern time; they're an hour ahead of us. So that should be fun. We'll, we'll talk for an hour, hour and a half, something like that. We'll see how it goes. And I'm looking forward to. Um, chatting with Tom, uh, W5KUB, while I'm there, and just walking around and doing what uh, doing what's fun at Dayton, which is just showing, you know, just walking around talking to everybody. That's what I enjoy. Yeah, there's a lot of good deals to be had at Dayton, both in the flea market and in the commercial vendor area. New radios. I'm sure ICOM will have a bunch of their IC9700s. Um, I don't know if Kenwood or Yezu has anything new this year, but hopefully Yezu, that new FT101... FTDX 101, the new uh, 101 series radio will be available. It was uh, it was under glass last year, so I don't know if that's out yet or not. Be be fun to get one of those. Really looking forward to meeting up with the guys at Flex Radio. Uh, probably going to be attending the banquet, the Flex Radio banquet on Thursday night. They have they have enough t people where they had to. They were having Friday night banquets. And they kept having overflows, and and they would sell out of tickets and have people still ask for tickets, so they made it two nights, Thursday and Friday night. Most people are there on Thursday anyway because if you're going to travel, the show starts at 8 a.m. Friday morning, so why wouldn't you get there on Thursday night and stay the night and get up fresh, get a good night's sleep, get up fresh, and go all day because it is a mind-boggling killer experience of ham radio overload for two and a half days solid <laughs> three and a half days if you're there to set up early some of those guys get there at uh, some of those flea market guys get there at the crack of dawn on thursday morning so uh some of the some of the really nutty professor guys like richard lenore from main trading company will get there wednesday afternoon but you know to each his own i guess <laughs> but yeah so um flex radio um i'll be at the thursday night banquets I, I should be at the Thursday night banquet, and then I'll be at the BridgeCon booth off and on Friday, Saturday, d doing the live stream Saturday morning, and just walking around everywhere, talking to anybody I can uh, I can talk to off and on during the day. So, 73, hope to see you at Dayton. Good luck in the contest. Make your comments below, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.